Well, the post office story is about miscarriage. Mm -hmm. um, 900 people denied justice and persecuted for decades and not given any compensation, and now they're finally saying, oh, those people, yes, yes, we knew they were innocent. We just, we just prosecuted them anyway. And the odd one out is that's an absolute national disgrace, and I don't care much about that. <laughs> anyway, that. Are you going to pick an odd one out? Or? Yes. <laughs> um, the Winslow boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, right. That was a miscarriage of justice. Mm -hmm. Stealing a postal order. Exactly. But, but he, mm -hmm. which he didn't do. He didn't, mm -hmm. but he was smoking, so he should have been shot. Yeah. <laughs> Any guesses for what the other one out is? Yes, the aeroplane, the journalists, because they did it. <laughs> <laughs> they nicked stuff off the plane. They have all been wrongly accused of stealing, apart from journalists on board Air Force One who have been asked to return stolen items. So before the post office inquiry resumed this week, what was the new evidence, Ian? ITV had a tape, mm -hmm. people saying we had told Paula Venels mm -hmm. that Horizon could remotely access and fiddle their accounts. There was that, and then there was further evidence in the inquiry this week, and it, it, it is sort of getting there. It literally is everything that anyone has ever said for two decades is absolutely true. Mm. I was pleased to see that the BBC did give Private Eye a, a mention, because Private Eye did play a large part in writing about this story for 20-odd years. <laughs> but... That's not enough reason to buy it, but you know... <laughs> <laughs>